Centric is a US uh, Silicon Valley based uh, company which is focused on AI, artificial intelligence, robotic process automation, blockchain based solution, and a platform which enables most of the business leaders, including retail, hospitality, and the healthcare, in terms of providing predictive, prescriptive intelligence so that they should be able to take actions to correct before any disaster or before any damages are done. So this is a very unique uh, situation where uh, business leaders are suffering from those economy downturn, customer yes. football is dropping, where we are helping them to increase their gross operating profitability in real time. So are you giving them are you giving a given them a greater visibility on their data correct. in real time yeah yes so better visibility of data but not visibility of data processing the data and providing the predictive model because yes. data is all about giving you in some kind of a guidance that what it has been from the data and data is changing right earlier it was transaction data currently you have the conversation data you have log data. All this data need to be captured to provide meaningful insights. What yes. customer pattern is, what customer behavior is, and how one has to take action in the benefit of the business. That is what Centric is providing today. So Profit Edge is the framework for making gross operating profitability, running on cloud, Oracle Cloud natively, but it is based on open architecture. It is based on microservices based containerized app. So when you build the containerized microservices, it can easily be deployed on any other cloud architecture or any other cloud infrastructure. Could so it's be... compatible across a lot. Exactly, and easily transportable. Now talking about Profit Edge is the solution coming from Centric. We just launched in the Middle East in Jitex and Profit Edge has two components. One is revenue maximizer. So how do we maximize your revenue stream coming in from various channel? So we are now addressing omni-channel revenue stream. So you might have footfall coming on the physical store Maybe due to COVID, it has you know, gone down. So yeah. we are trying to transform towards the web channel. Now, web channels should have the e-commerce infrastructure to get the customer either interacting on the conversational chatbot to look at all of that. And once yeah. they are able to book the order, that means you know the customer details, their patterns, their likes and dislikes, then you should be able to make very meaningful, actionable guidance to the business leaders. So that is where the maximizing the revenue stream centric is doing very effectively in near real time. The second component is cost optimizer, because you can imagine how you will manage your profit, gross operating profit. You have to sell more, you have to reduce your cost. So we are also addressing the cost architecture, cost structure very effectively. We know that what it requires to deliver that particular service, probably you can do more with less in yes. terms of people, in terms yes. of automated service. So we are automating certain tasks, which is not to necessarily to be delivered by human all the time. So we're bringing robotic process automation. We are bringing conversational chatbot to help customer interact and converse, have the conversation, execute the order which customer is looking for. So all the process automation is getting affected as well. So you can see that it's all a smart intelligent system working on behalf of the retail organization, working in on behalf of the hoteliers or any business organization which they will be looking for. And when you do it, you can see the result week on week in terms of growing your gross operating profitability like that way. We are living in the global economy and US is witnessing the transition of the economy post pandemic. Yes. So pandemic is going away. So after the vaccination, people have started opening up the businesses, whether it's retail footfall is increasing now in the physical stores, hotels is opening up, people started traveling, staying in the hotels. So obviously the transition is happening. Now in the Middle East is the same footprint 
wherever the U.S. Middle East is trying to keep pace with it. So we are bringing the best practices, best model, which is being to practice in the U.S. to transfer and replicate in the Middle East and Africa as well. Now, all the global chain, global merchandise, global uh, brands, all are coming in the Middle East and Africa. They're showing interest. Now, I'm also seeing a lot of interest from our strategic partners, likes of Intertech, likes of Almoyad Computers in Bahrain, or oh, yes. other regions who are willing to invest with us to expand the whole solution footprint with artificial intelligence and process automation. Okay, so, so you, there's a lot of people keen to invest in Centric to sort of scale it out across the Middle East. So they are finding that Centric is a boutique solution which can help growth, help grow their businesses as well with systems integration, you know, providing the data integration, providing an end-to-end -end solution for, you know, different line of businesses. So system integration play is also very predominant in AI and process automation for the large organization. So we are talking to many large organizations in the yes. Middle East where they are seeing value. So they have the appetite, not only to integrate the solution with Centric, but also to invest to monetize better. Yes. So I'm getting a lot of interest from the people who are saying, you are a boutique company. Do we have now you know, some kind of portfolio where we can invest? So I'm also here to uh, uh, you know, either get some conversation for investment opportunity, where people are really exploring how they can participate in the investment round with Centric.